Jennifer Fessler joined RHONJ last season as a friend of Margaret Joseph's. She was fun, quirky, and had no problem saying how she felt. Now the newcomer has been hospitalized for a serious condition, but is she okay? Read on for more details on Fessler's traumatic situation. Jennifer Fessler was a very fun friend of seasoned R at Hugh and J cast member, Margaret Josephs. She had spunk, and she also had a mother who was a fiery redhead. Not only that but her mother was a twin so, together, fans were living for the two of them. As the season ended, Jennifer looked noticeably different as she was slimmer and her face had changed. She confessed that she had work done. Fessler had a nose job, a facelift, and a neck lift, and she simply radiated. Luckily, she was welcomed back for season 14 and the first major event that the cast united at was supposedly her birthday. However, she has since ended up in the hospital but what exactly happened to her? According to page 6, it was all due to Ozempic. Some celebs have noted that it helped jumpstart their weight loss but did make them feel ill. Thus, they used it for a specific time frame and then stopped. So what went wrong in Fessler's case? She now hosts a podcast, Two Jersey Jace with another friend of, Jackie Goldschmeider. There she explained this. Admittedly, she felt backed up as this can happen with Ozempic, so she just upped her water intake. Yet she was not eating vegetables. However, she was actually thrilled that she could eat literally all of the delights she desired and still lose the weight. Until she paid the consequences. Sadly, the RHONJ cast member did have to ultimately go to the hospital, but does admit she is to blame. Jennifer Fessler knows she should have taken something for constipation when it started, especially knowing the side effects. However, she did not and paid the price. Now that she has learned her lesson, she is on a great path but Jackie Goldscheider struggles with this. She battled an eating disorder, writing a book on her experience. So this is a hard one for her. Hopefully, Jennifer listens to her body and her doctors, so she never ends up in a worse situation than before.